A fossil hay from CFA. What's up guys? Ashbegale here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures and photographer and co-author of A Beachcomber's Guide to Fossils. Would you look at this scenery? I am out here at Cypress Gardens for the epic return of the Cypress Gardens Fossil Festival. We've got a bunch of vendors out here. We're going to go inside the building here, check out all of the displays they have. There's some beautiful fossils for sale. There's some you can only look at, but there's some incredible private collections being displayed here. We've got our fossils and fossil jewelry set up as well. So without further ado, let's go see all of the amazing things that the Cypress Gardens Fossil Show has to offer. Going around and looking at all of these incredible displays was pretty cool, I must admit. However, I wasn't just out at this festival to look at shark teeth and show off my own business. I was also out to help the Mace Brown Museum of Natural History keep their eye out for potential donations. And while I was out, I had a couple of finds donated to the college, including this gorgeous periodic from a small type of dolphin. So this is one that would belong to a delphinid, something that you would expect to see in the ocean today. Now matched up with this, the same individual also donated the tympanic bullet, the matching bone in the skull. So that was a really great find here within the state of South Carolina, furthering research down at the Mace Brown Museum. Science thanks you. actually bought a fossil while I was at this show. It's not something that I normally do, but I purchased... Not that. I got a mammoth tooth. This is a cool tooth. It came out of Florida. You've got these lovely growth centers 
of the enamel. Lovely blue, gray, creamy whites of the dentine and cementum. Why did I buy a fossil, you might ask? This one is destined for a secret project that I will be revealing in a later video. And of course, I can't let this video go without showcasing this gorgeous cow shark tooth, an unusual find for South Carolina, even though it might be common in other states. The same collector also found this incredible canine from a Pleistocene camel. Did you know that we had camels here in North America during the Ice Age? Incredible! Viewers of this channel also know that I love some fossilized shark poop. This one is an incredible piece from the Cretaceous of Myrtle Beach. Just look at those spirals up there. Another great find from the Cretaceous, this killer Mosasaur tooth. Absolutely beautiful. You can see that very diagnostic proximal lend. Kind of showing a football shape in cross-section. Here's a great case with hybodont, shark teeth, archaeolamna, claspers, dorsal spines from sharks, even more mosasaur teeth and reptilian vertebrae. Look at the size of these things. We have some pharyngeal teeth or branchial teeth from Pedrotus, a type of fish. They look a lot like cat claws. Teeth from that saber-toothed herring and codus. Sawfish, denticles, loads of reptilian teeth. Absolutely gorgeous crow shark teeth, most of them from Pristodonis, and I particularly love this display. Here's a crazy one. This little tooth deserves a lot of attention. This great white shark tooth from the top jaw comes out of the Baja Peninsula. Now if you look closely along that lingual surface, 
you can see it's actually folded in on itself. This is a pathology to the tooth. There's even this tiny little nub of enamel where it's serrated in the middle of the tooth. A pretty bizarre find. A good friend of mine had this tooth in his collection along with loads of other gorgeous great whites from the Baja Peninsula. A sparsely collected locality with, in my opinion, some gorgeous teeth. And then check this thing out. This was a fossil show, but divers here in the state also pick up many artifacts, including this gorgeous projectile point. Admittedly, as a paleontologist, I do not know much about archaeology or the study of human remains. So if anyone out there can give us an identification of this lovely point, please drop it in the comments below. I told the gentleman that brought it I would do my best to get an identification, so I want to call on you guys if you have any contacts who know their lithics, please send a screenshot to them. The provenance is South Carolina. This is not a stone that is found here in the state. So please help that gentleman out, help me out, leave a comment below if you know what this point is from and potentially how old it is. All right guys, that's it for the fossil show out here at Cypress Gardens here in 2022. I hope you enjoyed the video and all of the amazing fossils that people brought. We had people coming from out of state with fossils dating all the way back to the Cretaceous. It was a blast being out here. We are very grateful for Cypress Gardens to host this event and we look forward to coming back in 2023. That's it for this time, guys. Happy hunting, collect responsibly, and we'll see you next time. Sticking around for more great fossil content? Why don't you check out this video right here? I guarantee you'll love it.